Hey, just a quick video for all you guys in the Jeep Patriot around the world and MK Nation forums. I just wanted to make a quick video on how I wired my LED light bar bracket. So, um, hopefully, this is pretty straightforward, but um, it's really just this video is just to show everybody that it's not that hard to really wire this stuff. Um, so, the light bar is where you kind of want to splurge. The, you don't want to waste your money on good quality lights. The wiring doesn't matter that much because. Um, like for me, I bought a really great light bar. For some reason, it didn't come with a harness. So I just went to Walmart, bought a wiring harness. There was, it was about, I think, $9.85. So, not bad at all. So, anyway, you're going to grab your wiring harness. You're going to put your positive, obviously, on your positive. Your negative, you're going to put on a ground source. I put mine right here. And this is coming off of your relay, right? There's an inline fuse also on the positive. So, your relay, I just bolted right there. There's a factory bolt that uh, I just attached that to. It's not going anywhere. Off your relay, you're going to have two more wires. One's going to go to your switch in your cab, and the other one's going to go to your power, which is to your uh, your light bar, I mean. So the one that's going into the cab, I ran uh, both wires through here, through this, and down into the door well. If you open up the door, you can see the wires coming through right there. And then you can see them Behind my weather stripping, I have all the wires going into, um, you can take this piece off, these two pieces, and put stuff behind there, so that's what I did. And then this, I reckon, is the cheapest piece to replace um, under the steering wheel because it was one of your only dashboard pieces on the Gen 2 Patriots, I don't know about the first gen, that uh, this piece comes off as one piece. So you can just replace the steering wheel column um, shroud. So anyway, this is my switch. You can see. Everything comes on and off at once. So your output wire is going to come out from here again. And then you can actually come under your weather stripping, right? Pull that up. And then pull the whole weather stripping out. I have my wire under there. But the most important thing is you make sure you see the little thing coming down in the middle of the weather stripping. You want to be toward the inside of that. So you want to be toward your windshield, not towards the outside of your vehicle. Um, just because these, this strip in the middle here clicks into little metal brackets and you don't want to crunch your wire in there and maybe short anything out. That's just not something you really want to risk. And then this, you just lift this up and put it back down. Um, right up here, I lifted up this weather stripping and put my wire under it so you can't really see where I ran the wire until you get right under my rack. You can see right there that I ran it right there. So, on top of that, mainly the biggest thing is just wire all these in parallel. Um, if you wire all of them in parallel, you shouldn't have to worry about... Sorry, there's a truck coming. Basically, off of your output wire, you want to snip whatever... Um, my wiring harness from Walmart came with some weird connector on it. I didn't need that. So I just snip that off, take the positive, and run a separate positive to each one of these lights take the negative, run a separate negative to each one of these lights. And then they should be completely in parallel. And uh, as long as you're not piggybacking any of these lights off the others, nothing should be brighter than anything else. Everything should come up uh, just as it was intended to. So I hope that helped clarify things. If you want, I'll throw up a quick diagram in the, um, the end of this video. I don't know much about relays, so whatever I put there for a relay, just uh, kind of go around that. It's not a big deal. Um, your wiring harness will come with directions, so the biggest thing really is that uh, you make sure you know how to wire in parallel. So um, I will definitely throw that up at the end of this video. Thank you for watching, everybody. And if you don't, if you're not currently a member of the Jeep Patriot around the world, Jeep Patriot USA, MK Nation pages on Facebook, please go check them out. Thank you.